What is going on everybody? My name is Zach. I hope you are doing well. Before we get into the video, if you are new here, please do consider pressing the like and subscribe button so you never miss news, tips, tricks, and ride-alongs with a healthy dose of humor. Today I am doing a first impressions video about Walmart Spark. Now I've been activated for a few months, but I've still been getting my bearings. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the app, but I've had a bit of a learning curve with this one. With that said, I want to give a massive shout out and thank you to two people. Uh, Kim Side Money Plans, and uh, my friend and one of my subscribers, Al. Both of them have been amazing at helping me navigate the problems that I have ran into with Spark so I could avoid support uh, almost entirely. So a massive thank you to both of those people. You are both amazing. Okay, I accepted my first Spark offer of the day. It is $18.21. It's going 1.2 miles. That is a very good order. So earlier I was speaking about somebody named Al. And uh, I've actually done a video before about an experience that Al had with a scammy customer called Cops and Robbers DoorDash Edition. Well, this order had something kind of confusing on there, so I actually gave Al a call prior to showing up at the store. So again, a massive thank you to Al for uh, his help with my journey with Spark. All right, I'm in spot five. I'm waiting for him to bring it out, and I'll check back in uh, a little later. Whew, okay, I better not get tidbitted on that. That was like two trips up a bunch of stairs with a bunch of kitty litter and Gatorade. Anyway, uh, I accepted another Spark offer for 12 something. Uh, it's taking me right back to Barkley Village, which is awesome and exactly what I want right now. Uh, but man, whew. me and my titties need some exercise, apparently. This is, this is bullshit. So, all right. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, there is a $5 um, per order bonus today. So the first one was actually 23 and this one will end up being 17. So I am an hour into my day right now, so that's not bad. And that's not including the 12 something Uber I've already taken as well. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, check it out. Getting paid 17 bucks, drop this off. It's like less than a pound, not bad. The person who was uh, well, loading the car told me that they have a ton of those packages today. So uh, I think I may have chosen a good day to film a Spark video. So I want to get into some of the things that I like about Spark and some of the things that I don't particularly like. Uh, let's start with the uh, positives. Uh, Spark orders can get bonused heavily. I, I said it in a previous video. Um, I have seen Spark offers start at like eight bucks and then end up getting bonused. Uh, the most I've seen an order get bonused in my market is $13. So I've gotten an order at $8 that I've later accepted at like 20 or 21. So um, that's not bad at all. Uh, and it tends to be the orders that uh, didn't have customer tips on them. So I don't know if that's just my market. Tell me your experience in the comments below. Um, I also like that on many of these orders, there isn't a massive rush to pick them up. Um, like on the express orders, like they'll come through as express for whatever reason, but frequently they're not ready. So I can still go and do one or two or even three uh, like Uber orders uh, or DoorDash. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that there are bonuses almost daily, at least as of now. So that is what Oh, uh, I like that you don't have to schedule. Like, you can just go online. Like, that's the way that every gig app should be, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, all of those things are major pluses for me. Some of the drawbacks, I, I don't know if I just had a rough start with this or if there's more of a learning curve, but I've definitely had some issues. Uh, I've had a couple of orders uh, that I've shown up for that they didn't have in the system. Uh, I had one order that they had me trying to deliver that the customer told me Walmart had actually lost and refunded her for. So then I show up with this order and she's confused and I'm confused and I'm like, I'm new, I don't know what to do. It was awkward, but we got through it. Um, I don't, this is more my market specifically. I don't like that there's only one Walmart in my market. So without going into Canada, I'd have to drive something like 30 miles south for another Walmart. And unfortunately that makes for quite a large 
delivery area. So on those dot com orders where they come through as like eight deliveries, you know, nine, 12 deliveries, whatever, the money is frequently not worth it. I've only actually seen one order that was worth it uh, after it got bonused. So, and that, and the only reason it was worth it was because it was uh, 12 items and 11 of the 12 were going to uh, Ferndale, one town north of me. And Ferndale is almost all houses. So that was the one and only order I did there. And uh, I ran into an issue with that one as well. Um, the names didn't match on most of the orders. And I had several customers come out looking absolutely baffled. So I had one customer uh, refuse delivery saying that she didn't order anything from Walmart. So I don't know if they were having an issue, but the item scanned, the, the order numbers matched. So it is what it is. There was another issue with a, sorry, I heard a weird noise. I was trying to figure out if it was my car or somebody else's. There was another issue where I was dropping off an order uh, in that batch and the customer came out and was like, I didn't order anything from Walmart. And this is separate from the one I was just talking about. I'm like, well, I, I don't know. Like, you know, and, and this one, the name actually did match. So I'm like, well, is your name whatever? She's like, yep. So I'm like, okay, well, it says here you ordered whatever it was. It was like a conditioner or something. She's like, well, yeah, I did order that, but I ordered that through Amazon. I've done a lot of e-commerce type of work um, I have another side business that I do with uh, like eBay and Amazon and stuff. So I kind of figured I knew what happened. Uh, I was probably a drop shipper that sold the product on Amazon and then ordered it uh, for a cheaper price through Walmart. But uh, she held me up for about 10 minutes while she was trying to figure out what to do about it. And to make matters worse, the item was damaged. So, you know, I'm, I'm a very polite person. Um, but I, I mean, inside I was like, hurry the fuck up lady. I got shit to do, but you know, I was like instead. So anyway, I am three minutes away from getting this spark offer dropped off and I will see you guys in a little bit. I just got another spark offer for $22 and change, I think. Uh, but with the $5 bonus, it'll be 27. So we're, we're doing quite well with spark. I've been out for, I guess about two, a little over two hours now. Uh, I'm not actually sure what I've made quite yet, but I'm, I'm doing well. So, Spark is so weird, in at least in my market. Sometimes it's just absolutely slammed. Like, like I could choose between three or four orders, and then other days I could be on all day without seeing a single offer. So, it's still growing in my market. Um, the fact that DoorDash uh, and Walmart broke up, uh, other than the fact that it's a beautiful thing, I think that's helping increase the number of Spark orders. So now if uh, Uber and Walmart could just like fuck off in different directions, we would be set. All right, I'm gonna get this uh, 22 and change order picked up and I will see you in a bit. Okay, that order is dropped off. I have been out for just under three hours and I am sitting at uh, about $90 right now. All but 2676 of that is from Spark. So I, I took a Uber, which ended up being $20 and one cent after tip. Those are awesome. And I am about to pick up this DoorDash for 675. So um, to kind of reiterate my point over and over on why you should have multiple apps, uh, I was scheduled until midnight with DoorDash and my phone decided that it was time to update the driver app. So rather than just pausing me, it completely ended my dash to update the app. That update took less than 30 seconds. They could have sent me an order, forced close the app, and I still would have had time to decline it. So anyway, I will check back in. Uh, it's, it's just after the hour, and my understanding is Spark usually sends the offers at 15 to 20 past the hour, so I'll probably end up waiting another 15 minutes or so before I start seeing any more Spark offers. So. I will see you in a little while. Like clockwork, 20 after the hour, I got another Spark offer. I accepted this uh, $13.19 offer, but with the $5 bonus, it'll be uh, uh, 18 bucks for 1.8 miles. I'm 
good with it. They have been trying to send this order out for quite a while now, and they're starting to bonus it. Uh, the amount you're seeing there, I believe, is with an $8 bonus. So, uh, trying to figure out if I can do that at the same time, uh, which I don't think I can. Um, let me know in the comments section if you guys would have taken that order. And I chose not to. Now, you're gonna have to follow me down the rabbit hole on this one. My, my reasoning might be a little uh, convoluted and hard to follow. Uh, my reasoning for not taking that is I didn't want to. This was going to student housing. It was kind of going all over downtown area, a bunch of student housing um, up north further. Anyway, that's an example of one of those dot-com orders uh, that just isn't worth it in my market. So I do see an awful lot of those, unfortunately. So, uh, but there is a possibility that we'll get bonused more. I've seen orders get bonused as much as 13. Um, so, I mean, if it starts to get into the realm of like, I don't know, 55 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that, I might consider it. But for the time being, not worth my time. All right, guys, uh, so I'm gonna go get this uh, fucking order picked up and I will see you in a little while. Within a minute or so of me accepting this Spark offer, I got an Uber offer for $11.90, I believe it was. And it was um, picking up very close to where I was at. It was only going like two or three miles. But I declined it because I was already on my way to go get this Spark offer. Well, I didn't realize that I had like 25 minutes to get to Walmart. So I could have done, holy shit, that guy looked like Vladimir Putin, the poor bastard. I didn't realize that I could have done both. So I just cost myself like 11, 12 bucks. So we live and we learn. Uh, you guys, it doesn't matter how long you've been driving. I've been driving for three years myself. When you're on a new app, you're gonna learn, you're gonna make mistakes, and you're gonna rinse and repeat until you start getting it right. So uh, I'll start paying more attention to the pickup times, I suppose, because that cost me a good order. But anyway, uh, I will check back in later. Okay, bye. Okay, everyone, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I ended up doing four Spark offers in about three hours. Now, assuming there's no janky fuckery with the tips, I made $86.31 on Spark between the base pay, uh, tips, I will update, uh, I'll, I'll pin a comment or something if, if there's anything janky with the tips, and bonuses. So 86.31 in about three hours. Now, Spark is usually pretty good in my market in the morning, but in the interest of transparency, this is hands down the most amount of money that I've made on Spark in the least amount of time. Today has been exceptional and is not my usual experience. So please do bear that in mind. Now, um, I suspect that Spark will eventually go the way of the other apps where the market will get oversaturated and the bonuses will dry up, no more incentives. So, you know, just, just speculation, but that's usually what tends to happen. So uh, until then, this is a fantastic tool to have in my toolbox and I will continue to earn money on Spark. Now this is particularly useful for me uh, as my son is back in school now. So I'm getting him up in the morning, taking him to school, and then that gives me several hours to go and drive at a time that I usually wouldn't drive. And Spark has been very beneficial to fill that gap for me. So. I'll keep doing it uh, until the market dries up and then I'll treat it just like every other app. Uh, if you are on Walmart Spark, let me know your thoughts. Are you trying to get activated on Spark? Let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to see more Spark content, let me know. Mm. You guys know where to find me. All right, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please do consider pressing that like and subscribe button so you never miss news, tips, tricks, and ride-alongs with a healthy dose of humor. My name is Zach. I'll catch you soon.